Pop 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 persuadable. What's going on, boo boos? So this video is going to talk about resilience, and uh, resilience is a great perk if you're a little bit more experienced with the game and you can stay alive. And essentially, it means that when you're injured, you get a nine percent increase in additional speed when repairing, sabotaging, healing, hooking, bolting, which uh, which is a very very nice thing. And this is why I don't recommend it for newer players because if you get injured and you're not really good at losing the hunter or kiting them or forcing them to no longer tunnel you, or if you're in the lower ranks or higher ranks, depending on how you say it, then you're going to die. So I really like using resilience because it helps you out quite a bit, can save you a few seconds on that, those generator repairs as well as healing other people as well. Now it works very well with spine chill. When the hunter looks in your direction within a 45 degree angle, uh, when you have spine shell maxed out, it also increases your repair speed, your volt speed, your sabotaging, your healing, right? So combining these two can increase your volt speed by 15%. Uh, that's, that's when the hunter is actually actively engaging you. So it can help you survive a little bit longer. It can help you uh, repair a little bit faster, heal other people a little bit faster. And the question is, is, is it really worth it on mobile? And... We're going to get into that a little bit. I think uh, the third one that you should always use is dead hard. This is almost a, a must in my opinion. Because the, the point of this build is that once you're injured, you want to stay injured until pretty much the last moment necessary. Which we'll talk about some strategies on how we can do that. But dead hard is nice because when you're injured, you can essentially have a, a, a momentary burst of speed. Um, you have to activate it, of course. And of course, some people don't like dead hard. We came out with that exhaustion tier list. And um, I use decisive strike as my third one. Now, this is more of a flex option. You can kind of use any. I think the first three perks are more important than the last fourth one. I think decisive strike is important because uh, right now in the mobile market, there are a lot. I mean, there are a real lot of uh, killers who are camping, especially if you're a really good kiter. And you use this to your best ability with the resilience and spine chill. Uh, a lot of killers will feel compelled to camp you uh, when there's only two gens left. And, and that's because they feel like they're going to lose the match if they don't. Okay. So I use Decisive Strike, like I said, just because we do see a, uh, a lot of people who are camping. But there are a few other options that you can choose. You can choose Adrenaline. Now I made a YouTube video as to why you should not use this perk. If you're in solo queue right now, do not use this perk in, in, in mobile. I have a video of me kiting for 11 minutes and we still lost the match. So <laughs> adrenaline's not good right now in solo queue. It's, it's excellent in Survivor with friends. Absolutely excellent. But I just don't use it. I like to play solo queue a lot, especially when I'm on live feed and I'm trying to make things interesting. I play with a lot of good players. You can do Unbreakable, I guess. Um, Unbreakable, I think will get better over time, but this will allow you to heal yourself faster. I think Unbreakable is better in a Survivor with friends instead of a solo queue. Uh, that's just my opinion. I feel like a lot of Survivors are, are reluctant to really go over there and rescue you. So another option that you can use um, is Kindred. I think Kindred will help out where, where your random solo queuers can see who's going in for the rescue. So I think solo queue uh, would be better with Kindred in that spot. Now, on PC, <clears throat> excuse me, a popular build would be Iron Will from Jake which reduces your grunts by 100% when you're injured. Uh, you can use that by all means. That, that I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying it's not as good on PC. Oh, I'm sorry. It's better on PC than what it is on mobile because in mobile we do have a movement indicator. So Iron Will is a very popular build to use on um, PC. And I'm not saying it's a bad build. It's very good on PC, but on mobile, if I'm kiting you anyways, it's a lot harder, a lot more difficult to hide on the mobile version than what it is on the PC version. So most of the time when I'm kiting, I really just got to out trick you and just loop you so badly that you leave me, okay? No mither usually works better with iron will, but no mither doesn't really work well on mobile unless you have it in conjunction with iron will. Um, and the reason being so is that no mither, when you have it ranked all the way up to 100% or level 3 rather, it only reduces your, your grunt by 50%. And uh, although you can keep getting up, etc., that means you have a per permanent movement indicator in the mobile version, right? Because when you grunt, you have a movement indicator. So I don't even touch no mither usually on mobile, to be honest with you. I don't really think it's worth it because you have a constant movement indicator. 
uh, anyways, and a grunting indicator unless you put this in conjunction with Iron Will. So really, to make no mither work on mobile, you have to have Iron Will. And at that point, I'd rather have Resilience and Spine Chill and uh, Dead Hard and something like Decisive Strike. If I use Iron Will and no mither, then it's really taking away a more important perk, but it is doable. Now, let's get into some of the gameplay and uh, how I use Resilience. Now, the trick with using Resilience... Uh, there's a few ways to do this. There's a few ways that you can you can get this going. I'm not going to go over every way, only because not everybody always uses the good add-ons. You know, there's there's ways that you can preserve resilience, um, but for the most part, the strategy with resilience that I use is that when you get into a chitin or lupin situation and you get injured, okay, when you get away. It's good for you to heal yourself up to about 99%, and then you leave your med kit still active, you don't heal yourself fully, and you just continue decoding, because at that point, or repairing the generators, because at that point, you're going to be doing this 9% faster. So if you can really get away from the hunters, and, and they decide not to tunnel you any longer, you will actually now decode or repair 10% faster. You'll actually be able to help other people faster. You'll be able to search chest even faster. Remember, if you come in there with a basic med kit, there might be a situation where since you have it at 99%, you see a chest, you're going to open that chest significantly faster. So having resilience is a really good perk. Um, I do really enjoy using this, especially in solo queue at times. Just because, And I did put that in my solo queue video about which perks you can use. Resilience is really nice for you. Furthermore... Okay, now on a, on, a, on a different level, resilience will help you even if you're not the best looper. So let me kind of bounce backwards for a second because it's going to help you vault a little bit faster, right? You get that 9% volt speed bonus plus spine chill, all right? That's going to be about a 15% volt speed bonus, which can really help you out. Now, what I have learned on mobile is that Hop in Windows, you never know if you're actually going to make it or not. It is not like PC version where... Uh, it's a little bit easier for you to hop the windows and vault them and uh, understand that the hunter or killer isn't going to get you. In this mode, I mean, sometimes you get hit pretty far into that window. I think it's gotten better since the release in beta. It was really bad. I think it's getting better. Um, so I would be cautious. I think that's the difference between this version and PC. When I'm a red rank on PC, what I can do is I can use resilience. And I mean, I can keep looping keep kiting while using it and still use it like a savage right especially with volt and windows on mobile i adapt my my strategy a little bit and what i do on mobile version is uh <laughs> you like that right there <laughs> give, give the huntress a little kiss <laughs> um on mobile version i won't be as ballsy with it i'll use it and uh but i i get very cautious around the windows just because like i said i mean uh, it can be difficult to, to line up that vault uh, perfectly well. Uh, the joystick controls are not as good as what you would see on the PC version. So you're going to see me use this right now with Resilience. I'm waiting for this Huntress to leave me. She's doing a good job um, in the sense that, yeah, I did loop her for three gens, which was probably, she probably tunneled me a little bit too long, but at least she understands now. All right, <laughs> we're by the shack. We need to get out of here. All right, so look at how fast I'm healing myself. Right with resilience, you actually heal yourself faster. You're gonna see me get on this uh, generator now, and I have left myself at that 99% value, or relatively. And so, if this huntress decides to come back, what I can do is I can either try to kite in a strong location and continue abusing that 15% uh, Volton speed or whatever it is between the resilience and the spine shell. All right, which is a really cool combination. Again, be careful of those windows. Or I can just heal myself right away. There's two different strategies. If you get fed up with the windows and the vault in the windows and, and the inconsistency on mobile, which I would actually consider understandable, uh, then you can just use and abuse this in order to uh, decode faster. And when the, when the hunter comes or killer comes closer to you, you can just fully heal yourself up. So you really don't have to worry about any of that. All right. So that's really up to you with your strategy. I think that both I, ideally in an ideal world, which <laughs> we don't live in, uh, you wouldn't heal yourself right away. You would continue looping. And then when you just, when you realize you're running out of areas, you would heal yourself, get hit, and use that time to relocate to another area. Again, be careful with that because of the windows. They can reach pretty far in on mobile. 
uh, in my opinion. And so you're going to see me do that right now. So you're going to see me loop a little bit. She's going to get hit. And then what we're going to do here. Oh, by the way, what I also like to use, I, I like to use dead hard. I like to use dead hard with this build usually. I don't have dead hard on this because uh, I was practicing with adrenaline for a different video. Okay. So dead hard is nice as well. Because if you have resilience and dead hard and spine chill, you're pretty much helping yourself when you're injured. And what that's what you're doing. You're maximizing that ability. So dead hard is a nice perk with resilience in my opinion. Um, and you saw, you saw me right there just kind of heal myself up right at the last second. I healed myself up right at the last second because I was playing aggressive towards that, that generator. I also wanted to, to kind of show in a basic example of how you would use this resilience to your ability. I see a lot of people with resilience and then they heal themselves up right away. And that's why I don't like to use this with inner strength. I know that there are some people out there who swear by resilience and inner strength. For those who don't remember, inner strength is that perk where when you hop into a locker... Uh, if you've destroyed a totem, you can heal yourself. I don't like using that because there are situations uh, such as this video where the hunter is going to run up on you and you don't really have time to go into a locker. I mean, if you want to go and heal yourself in a locker, you can, but then you're not really benefiting from resilience. I like carrying a med kit with resilience because you can see that flexibility where I can control my health at all times. And I think that's an important point. So I wouldn't use inner strength with this, to be honest with you. I prefer just using your standard med kit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, the conclusion of my video. I know I repeated myself a little bit, but I, I wanted to just be very thorough. Uh, remember, not everybody knows all these perks, especially the mobile market has a lot of new players in there. They're still trying to learn everything. So I do hope that these videos are helping a little bit and also explaining the big differences between a console and PC with mobile and how this will function a little bit differently. Thank you very much for the support.